Well, one of our favourite uh, post-game show activities is uh, Troy Mullins talking to players on the practice tee. And it's going to be great to hear from a man who's missed this entire season through injury after surgery during the off-season. So it's great to see Troy Hudson Swafford. Say hello from us, won't you? I know you were out with hip surgery. Can you tell us about like your rehab and how you're coming back? Yeah, it was uh, it was a long process. It was a tough decision to make, but uh, I think it was the right decision that I made. Um, wasn't feeling very good last summer and struggling, but um, kind of tried to just play through it, rehab it there, and fight through it. But uh, struggled and uh, just made the ultimate decision to get surgery. I was on crutches for a month, uh, just 50% weight bearing, so that was pretty tough. But then at the six week mark, I got to kind of start chipping and putting slowly and uh, started kind of building stamina there, walking uh, without crutches and doing that, slowly started hitting wedges. And then at the three month mark, I got to start hitting drivers and it was actually never really bothered me after that. So it was, it was three month mark, it seemed like it was a lot better in the golf situation, but obviously walking and playing golf is a little different component. Yeah. But um, no, the golf, the golf, the actual swinging part has been uh, not too bad since coming back. When you told me that earlier, I know we joked about you learning yeah. how to walk again. Yeah. I was like, oh, so you have a new walk? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's right. But let's walk over here, actually. And uh, can you take us through, like, kind of your wedge routine when you were first getting back and kind of, you know, I guess you don't go full when you're hitting your wedge. What kind of no, shots I do mean, you hit? You what kinda, do you do? When you come back from surgery, you don't know what it's going to be like. You have no clue until you hit that first ball. So I was a little nervous hitting the first ball, but uh, <laughs> kind of shook off the rush. Just hitting, I was hitting maybe just a little 50, 50 yarder. Um, but this is something that even if you're not coming back from an injury, like you're kind of starting out in golf, everybody wants to hit full shots. But this is so useful, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I think most people want to start off with their driver, biggest yeah. club get to smash it, hit it hard. But um, yeah, most most people, when they start warming up, I I usually start with just like three or four, just kind of short little wedge shots, soft wedge shots, just kind of get a feel a little, feel the rhythm, feel the ground. Let's and then, see it. Uh, so I want to understand rhythm and your weight and your feet. Your feet are together. Absolutely. I kind of got a little, got bit a, back. a little bit of a narrow stance, but I get the ball up and with a little bit more weight forward and feel Beautiful. like I'm just kind of driving the club back with my feet and not lifting it up. Sometimes that's kind of one of my faults is I'll get into lifting the club a little bit too much versus uh, trying to keep the, the handle a little bit low. Sometimes I get lifty and outside, which creates a lot of steep and over the top. We know so, one player that does that. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard yeah. to come back. Correct. So when you're doing this, are you thinking about a certain distance or are you just, this is just feel and tempo? Just feel, when I start, when I first get on the range, it's just kind of feel and tempo, just trying to get, just trying to get into a rhythm, just trying to start getting loose to try to feel, you know, feel the club, how it's passing through kind of the ground and just, just to get a, just a rhythm for the overall beginning. Then I'll kind of go into more full shots. I know you've you've played this course before, and and everyone describes it as gettable, right? It is. It, what? It, why? Can you tell a viewer why well, is this course particularly scorable? This course is gettable, but you, it's every time I've played at the rough spin up, it really puts a premium on driving, um, and I feel like I'm a really good driver of the golf ball, so I've always felt like I've had some good runs here. Um, I've, I've teed off late on Sunday here numerous times before. But uh, it, it, this golf course rewards good ball striking. You're going to have a lot of opportunities. But if you're a little off, you start short signing yourself out here. It's very penal. You can kind of tell by the scores. There's some bunched up scores at the top with some guys that are playing really well. And then it's yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of disparity between the guys in the back and, and the guys that are playing really can well. Can we see you so. hit some, some mid irons? Yeah, mid -irons? absolutely. Awesome. So yeah, when I hit a couple wedges, I'll get warmed up and then I always. Eight's probably my favorite club, so I'm always oh, going to hit I that in my, right uh, Look at that. my warm up. So it was also it looked like the most worn. <laughs> yes, it's it's definitely worn. It's about time for a new one. You said something interesting about like you know, if it gets off, it really you know, 
Yeah, here, I think if you start missing greens and short side yourself here, it's very penal. Uh, the greens have got a lot of slope and they always kind of sit up here. Yeah. Um, so, but, yeah, I think it is very penal here if you start short side yourself because usually greens. You can get, get more shots, sorry. Yeah, they we get, got the they get fast on. and yeah. they, get, they have a lot of slope in them. So, it's, I think it's hard. It's a pretty tough place to consistently get up and down. Um, so, it definitely, I think. This place is a premium on ball strike. And you played here before the the reconstruction and the flood, right? Yes. And so at that point, was the driver your your strength? Absolutely. The driver's always been one of my strengths. Um, but my hip started bothering me. It turned into not one of my strengths last year, and it was becoming a problem. But um, can we see that, just like another swing yeah, and just show absolutely. us like kind of you know are you, have you changed your impact and your follow through to you know reduce uh, the pain or you, you can go back to normal? I go back to normal. Like I feel like I'm swinging as free as I ever have. It just it's kind of feels like an un, like unlocked after uh, I would see it. after I had uh, after I had surgery. I mean, you get through it so like so easily. Is your stance normally that narrow? I mean, not that it's super narrow. I've always had kind of a narrow stance. I feel okay. like I feel. The pressure in my feet better when I get wide. I feel like my feel gets off for whatever reason. I've had numerous coaches try to widen it when we tried to, and I my feel is just not nearly as good, and I don't feel the pressure in my feet as well. We so. talked about that a little bit today with Matt Wolf, and you know he yep. works with Genkis, who is all about the squat and, and yep. using the ground forces and the torque. Do yep. you do that as well? I mean, I don't see as much up and down movement, but yeah, how important I'm is that? as much up and down, but I'm still creating a lot of force that way. All right, so, show us another yeah. one. And can you talk us through it while you're hitting? I don't know if that's so, comfortable. I mean, I try not to think about too much when I'm over it, <laughs> but kind of my trigger in my golf swing is trying to get my my right rear, my right butt cheek to go straight kind of back. Okay. So the club doesn't, so I don't stand up to get the club outside. That'd be one of my faults. but. It just keeps the club head outside my hands, but gets it back on plane. Nice. So that's my biggest key, just trying to get keep my right rear back. And so you're keeping the club face kind of nearer to your yep. spine angle, is that yep. right? Okay. I know you've only hit three eight irons. Are you, are you warm enough to hit it? Oh yeah. The driver? Okay, good. Absolutely. Now, when you first came back when you, from your hip surgery, were you nervous about going full, or did they tell you, "Hey, incrementally go up"? It, 60, so 70? yeah, it was a it was a progression deal. Okay. Uh, I didn't just jump right into drivers, even though I kind of wanted to. I was going to say, how do you have that self control? Because uh, <laughs> I didn't want to go back through th surgery again. So that was the only thing that was lingering. But yeah, so at the three month mark, my doctors gave me. The go ahead to hit drivers, and I was pretty excited. Yeah, so, I mean, especially because you're hitting this paradigm. Ball yeah. speeds are kind of insane with that. It, it's it's been very impressive. Uh, the guys over there sent it to me and said it's been unbelievable, and I tested it out, and it's been really incredible so far. Now, is but, that your preferred ball flight? I, I that asked is. because if I could it's do a little that, bit. It, if I could do that every time about a five yard fade, I'd be just fine. Well, it looks like your left foot's just slightly forward, but you're yep. hitting a fade. So how What's that? How do you, it looked like your left foot was just slightly forward of your right. In yeah. my, from my angle. Yeah, now, maybe it's pretty, it's a pretty square stance, but I play the ball pretty far forward. So that's what it is, that ball promotes position. A, yeah, it promotes a fade. Okay. So yeah, usually the guys that draw it, ball's a little farther back in their stance. Got it. Swing out the swing out to the right, but yeah, I like to uh, I like to keep it pretty square, but get the ball a little bit more forward. One thing you've said is that you know your dad taught you how to how to be a golfer, a father, yep. and a champion. Yeah. Now, what does that mean? What did he tell you? Tell us. Well, how do you I mean, become a champion? He. He gave me every opportunity, I mean, taking me to the golf course when I was young. Um, started playing with his buddies and, and maybe a gambling group when I was 
pretty young, but too early to be gambling. Yeah, probably, but <laughs> you know, well, that's different. That's for a different story. But it's uh, you know, he taught me you know how to kind of win then, and then you know wanted me to play junior golf if I wanted to. I also played baseball real competitively for a while, so it's either baseball tournament or golf tournament. But it just taught me taught me how to win, and I, I mean, I wanted to buy things on my own, so I'd. He fronted me one time, gave me a little bit of money, and then I ended. Up, I wanted some more, so I ended up just, you know, it's either you're going to lose or you got to figure it out yeah, and how right. to play well. So that's kind of that's kind of the biggest. I love thing. that. Hit another one for us. I mean, it's kind of funny. Hudson just sitting there at the club, like, who wants some more? Who yeah. wants some more? <laughs> I think that's the best way to. I mean, learn as a young kid. You always want a little bit of cash. Now, last year you were part of the Niblix, the former, uh, you know, the former team with Bubba and. Yep. Uh, well, he wasn't a captain yet, but have you been watching this year? And absolutely, you're a free agent. What What are you thinking? Man, uh, yeah, I wanted. I was looking forward to being a part of the Range Goats. Um, unfortunately, it was a tough call to call Bubba beginning of the season, actually a couple weeks before Mexico, and and say that uh, I had to release myself because I had surgery and. Then now, you know, a little unknown, they had to bring in somebody, you know, on a whim, and now I'll be in free agency going forward. So, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully I can return to the range goats. But oh, we'll just you see. want to be range? Okay. We'll, we'll just we'll just see how it all plays out <laughs> over the uh, over the next coming events and how everybody plays and where it shakes out. All right. But I'm looking forward to the off season of free agency. I mean, it's never happened in golf really, so it's going to be something new and exciting. Well, um, I know 16 is a new tee box, so if you were going to set up for that tee box, would you try and hit it further, and how do you do that? I don't want to pressure you to try and hit it further. Yeah, I know, absolutely. Yeah, 16 is a very good hole from that tee box that, uh, that they put back there. And um, with the water on the right and being a fader, I'm definitely yeah, looking at the do? left rough because I know I can hit it again. So Let's see that. I get, I'd probably get a little, little wider stance. Okay. And I'd make sure that I was missing it over there to the left, kind of like that. So how do you, for someone, how do you secure it from not over fading? What did you do differently? I, I don't want to guess. For me, for me, it's, I take it back just a little bit shorter. Oh, Because okay. then I can kind of control it. I mean, when it gets a little long and loose, I'm usually, my fade gets a little bit, a little bit more Let's, fady and it gets right. a little bit loose it gets a little bit more spinny obviously you don't want to hit a spinny shot no can you do another one right. for us and so we'll pay attention yeah. to this short backswing so yeah when i'm when i'm trying to hit like a little controller every now and again i'll either choke up a little bit um widen the stance and widen the stance just a touch so i get a little solid base and then i try to take it back just a touch shorter love it Oh, comes great. out a little flatter, on, huh? but it usually hangs in there versus kind of launching and hitting the fade, which uh, with water on the right, that I don't need to hit it there. Well, thanks so much for hanging out and yeah. talking to me, and we're looking forward to seeing uh, you again. Good to see you Woo! again. It's good to be back. <laughs> good to have you back. That's right.